How many postcards do you have there, you think? How do you know about all this? Well, of course the documentaries, but then you know you get into the research and the website and find out. And she was uh, good friends at the time with a little girl that came from West Memphis. So you know, of course they even knew some. They knew Damien, knew of them, and I knew the. Or I believe then that they were innocent, simply because uh, my I have research in criminal background and I just believe they were innocent. Have you been to anything that they've done previously? Any of the other? Uh, you know, is this, this is the first thing that... And they were just poor kids from a poor family and they were just totally railroaded. The cops in Arkansas are famous for being corrupt, especially in that area. And the deal is, they had a hideous crime, they needed to frame someone for it, so they found three poor kids from poor families and frame them for a crime that they couldn't solve or didn't want to solve because I think that one of the stepfathers was involved who was an undercover informant for the West Memphis Police Department. Uh, I'm, Damien's a friend of mine. Uh, I'm a, a good friend of his wife, Lori Davis. That's how I really got very active uh, in this cause and the reason I formed Arkansas Take Action. Uh, we corresponded with it. I mean, if it wasn't for the first film, you wouldn't be here. Damien would probably be put to death already, um, and we, we feel we have the responsibility as filmmakers to follow this story now until it comes to a natural conclusion, which we hope is going to be the release of all three. Please go to wfree.org. Read about the new science. Read the new, about the new evidence. It is real. It is, it is, it is absolutely firm and it proves the innocence of these three men who are wrongfully convicted. I think it's important for our elected officials, and elected, but all elected officials, to um, know that we are watching them and we uh, care about the decisions that they make and what they pay attention to. So I think it does matter that each one of you is here today and that people sign these petitions. And, um, you know, people ask me all the time, uh, why I am interested in this and why I'm involved and I think um, looking around at these postcards and letters is exactly why I'm here. When you see the films and when you go to the website and you learn about the case and all of the evidence that is there now, um, you just feel like what can I do? Any little thing and everyone, you know, these people from around the world wrote a postcard and I went on the website and learned more and donated to the defense fund.